வணக்கம் வெல்கம் பேக் டு அவர் சேனல் டெக்னோ சேஜ் ஸோ இந்த திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் லீட் கோட் ப்ராப்ளம் நம்பர் ஃபோர் ஃபார்ட்டி எயிட் தேட் இஸ் ஃபைண்ட் ஆல் நம்பர்ஸ் டிஸ் அப்பியர்ட் இன் அன் அரே ஸோ லெட்ஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் த ப்ராப்ளம் கிவன் அன் அரே நம்ஸ் ஆஃப் என் இன்டிஜர்ஸ் வி ஆர் நம்ஸ் எட் ஐ இஸ் இன் தி ரேஞ்ச் ஒன் காமா என் ரிட்டர்ன் அண்ட் அரே ஆஃப் ஆல் தி இன்டிஜர்ஸ் இன் தி ரேஞ்ச் தேட் டூ நாட் அப்பியர் இன் த நம்ஸ் So in the example you can see we have been given one nums array and nums at i would be in the range 1, n. n is the size of the array. So here you can see size of the array is 8. That means numbers are going to lie in the range 1, 8. Right? And we have to find the missing numbers in this particular array. So in the range 1, 8. 5 and 6 is missing in this particular array so 5 and 6 would be our output right and in the follow up you can see could you do it without extra space and in o of n run time so that means we have to solve this problem in o of n run time complexity and o of 1 space complexity so let's understand how we are going to solve this problem so this is the array we have been given and what is the size of the array in this case size of the array is 8 right and we have been given one condition that numbers should lie in the range 1 comma n right so using this condition we can refer all these elements to the indices as well right so what does this mean we are going to map each element to the indexes number 7 could also represent index 6 right because array is zero based indexing 3 means it will represent index 2 right 4 means it will represent index 3 right so we are going to mark each element to its indexes so let me write the uh, array again array is 4 3 2 7 8 2 3 1 so we will move one by one to all the elements and we will map each element to its index right now 4 means index 3 right index 3 is number 7 so we are going to mark this number as the negative number that means this position is already occupied so to mark the position as already occupied we are going to mark that number as negative number now move to the next element next element is 3 3 means index 2 so we are going to mark this number as the negative number now move to the next element 2 2 means index 1 so mark this element as the negative 1 number 7 number 7 means index 6 so we are going to mark it as minus 3 now number 8 number 8 means index 7 mark it as negative number 2 number 2 means index 1 we have already marked it as negative so we can directly move on to the next element now number 3 number 3 means index 2 we have already marked it now move on to the next element that is 1 1 means index 0 index 0 means this number so we are going to mark it as minus 4 now we have reached till the end of the array and we are left with two positions and what is these positions fifth position and sixth position right fifth position and sixth position means number 5 and number 6 is missing right which will be basically your index 4 and index 5 so this would be your output so we are going to save that output to the list now let's write the solution for it so let's write the method that would be public list of integers since we are going to return list of integers find all disappeared elements right and our input is nums array now we are going to write our loop from the zeroth element till the length of the array and then we are going to find the index of each element now what is our index index is num z i 
minus 1. Why minus 1? So here you have seen right for position 4 it would be our index 3 right minus 1. But we have to take the absolute value which would be our math dot abs right. Now we need to check if number at the position index it is greater than 0 right that means it is a positive number then we are going to mark it as the negative number right that is what we did for each element we are going to mark number at that index position as the negative number to mark it as visited and then we are going to find the missing elements so at the end once we have marked all the elements we will iterate through the array and we will check if that number is still positive number. So here you can see we are left with only two positive numbers. So we are going to add their index to the list. Right. So we will take one list. List of integer. If it is greater than 0 then we are going to say answer dot add i plus 1 right why i plus 1 because here we have seen we are left with position 5 and position 6 which is basically index 4 and index 5 right so index would be plus 1 because array is 0 based indexing and at the end we are going to return list now go back to our main function nums array which is 4327 right and then we are going to write our print statement and we are going to call our function so it should be static function to call so it would be public static now we can call this function directly for the nums array right now let's run the program and see the output so we can see here index 8 out of bounds for length 8 because here we have missed one parenthesis it would be nums at i absolute value of that number minus 1 right now let's run the program and see the output so here you can see the output is 5 comma 6. Now let's test it with another example 1 comma 1. So what should be the output? Output should be 2. I hope you understood the solution. Now let's copy the program and we will check it in the lead code as well. Now let's run it. So we can see here it is accepted runtime is 0 millisecond and then we can submit the code. So we can see here it is accepted and all the test cases are passed. I hope you understood the solution. If you have any questions any doubts please let me know in the comment section. Please don't forget to like share and subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching.